So now we have another map. Remember, question, I mean, paper two is a lot of maps, okay? Below is a simplified route map of Los Angeles, uh, of the Los Angeles Marathon in the United States of America. Um, and then the route is that long. Please remember that in South Africa, we don't use miles, uh, meaning that somewhere we are going to be told how to convert. So we have the route. That's north. If that's north, we know that's east. We know that's south. We know that's west. And we know that's north. No, sorry, this is already north. Oh, okay. Yeah. You see there? Let's just fix that. So if this is north and the arrow is facing up from what I am seeing, that means that's south, that's east, and that's west. Okay, so north is going up. Yeah, I was correct initially. So looking at the rest of the map, there we are. Map not to scale. So that's also very important for us to note. Is there a scale at all? Not really. Um, we might need to create our own scale. We don't know. Explain the meaning of root map. Explain the meaning of root map. So in this particular case, because these people are going on um, a race, if I were to explain this, I would say um, that this is the map that's going to show the runners on which route they need to follow. Okay. Describe what is meant by map not to scale. This means that the map has not been drawn to scale. That's what it simply means. Um, there's actually nothing complex about it. So we need to just be careful in terms of that. So the map is not exactly what it is in real life. in terms of distance so i can't use this map and say yeah no um this is going to be a hundred miles because of abc abc okay it's just showing me the roots it's not showing me the distance in between um the roots so i need to be very careful when it comes to such uh maps and do know do know what it means when something is not up to scale because that question is very common so 2.3.3, the runners in the Los Angeles Marathon have to pass underneath a bridge um, at a certain point during the marathon. Explain how this is indicated on the route map. So we have to go and see if there's a bridge on the route map. Let's go see on the route map. Are we given a bridge here? Are we given a bridge? So the way we can see the bridge here, I can tell you now, is that it's covering this road here. This road is being covered. So for the fact that it's going above that road, all the other roads are clear, but that is going above those roads. It tells you um, that that is that. Okay. It tells you that it's that. So even when we can look, this is a road for instance, but then this is covering that. Do you see what's going on there? Standing. So let's go. So we've just indicated that. We've indicated that. Um, yes, write down the number of times that a runner who completes the marathon will pass underneath the bridge. So we need to write down the number of times um, that this person is going to pass underneath the bridge. How do we know that this person is going to pass underneath the bridge? Let's go see if we've got any um, indication of this on the map. Do we have any? indication at all of this on the map 
of how many times this person is going to pass under this bridge. Okay, so it me means that we need to figure it out um, ourselves. So if we are figuring this out ourselves, we need to look at this person starting, for instance. So with this person starting, they are first starting there with the arrows going underneath. So that's once. So they went under the bridge once already. Okay. But also, I want you to see something. This is also a bridge. So I said it was a road, but this is actually a bridge because it also covers that road over there. And that's also a bridge because it covers that road over there. So I'm just going to clear it out so we can see where the bridges are happening. So it means we needed to pay really close attention. So one, the person is passing under the bridge. That's once. Twice, the person is passing under the bridge. That's twice. Okay. And then the person is going, 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 going. Three times under the bridge. Going, 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 going. Going, 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 going. Again, they're passing under the bridge. And then there they are finishing the race. So that was the fourth time that that person went there. See, no, no information was given, but because we needed to figure it out ourselves. So four times under the bridge. Okay, that was four times under the bridge. Write down a general direction in which the runners will face when they start in Flower Street. So because we already know that north is facing up, we need to find when they start. So if I'm starting here and north is up, then I would be moving that way. That's south, that's west. So they are moving in a southwest direction. Okay. So they are moving in a south west um, direction. So this question was out of 36. Um, that's what the question is. Maps and plans. Go and prepare for your maps and plans. Remember, you can't walk into the exam without a ruler. Okay.